Well, today we're going to be looking at some Marx figures. Um, Marx did a range of 12 inch figures uh, in the late 60s, early 70s. They weren't very uh, widely available in the UK, um, but some of them did come over because I remember having like the Cherokee Indian from the Western range. Um, but they did things like Stoney Smith, who was a soldier, um, who was a paratrooper. Solid legs though on him, can't move the legs. But you could pose him, and I do. Lo I love this figure. It's one of my favourite figures because of the the stance. Also, it's got a Kenneth Toby sort of face sculpt, so you can pretend he's uh, from the thing from another world. Um, and they came with like so many accessories, much more than you ever got with Action Man, etc. Because obviously it was cheaper to produce these things. Um, they generally came with sort of uh, ball jointed shoulders, cut elbows ball jointed wrist and then the head was held on there's a big spring that holds the arms on and that holds the head on as well um, so very very hard wearing uh, except when it got wet because then the spring would rust and they would fall apart they also did little eight inch range figures so this is johnny apollo i've got a video on my playlist for him again really poseable great figures but today we're going to be looking at their spy figure who was Mike Hazard. Let's just move him over there. Mike Hazard. So obviously spy programs and spy films like James Bond, Man From Uncle were huge. So they decided to do a sort of generic spy figure rather than license him. And I've got a couple. So this one, you can see, came with moulded on shirt, moulded on trousers, etc. Uh, you've got loads of accessories. I don't have them all, um, but I have a few to show. Uh, interesting in this, you see he's got a whole in his neck so he had a plastic clip on tie that had a knife behind it so he was quite a dangerous fella um, and he had cut joint knees and sort of cut joint hips but they were also on a spring so he could do things like ride a horse if he wanted to um, but let's have a look at some of the accessories so the first one was his trench coat his raincoat which is really well tailored That's button, belt, um, this one's a bit dirty, it needs washing, I haven't got around to washing it yet. Um, and it's uh, interesting in that it's got lots of stitching over it, you think what's, what's the stitching? And it was designed that inside, let's just take the belt off, inside were lots of pockets for you to put his equipment in so he could carry his equipment around with him. And one bit of equipment which I just love is he came with this sack that could go under his jacket and you do his belt up and it makes him look fat so you can pretend to be a fat because fat person because he was um, a master of disguise remember and a lot of this stuff is to do with disguises so you also got a range of hats so you got like a trilby which was great but if you notice there's a little area there and what's that for it's because inside is some sort of radio he got a hat radio. Um, he also came with my favourite hat, a bowler, so he can look quite snazzy. Um, he also, third hat he got with him was this weird sort of Peaky Blinders driving cap, which just looks a bit silly. That's when he was pretending he was disguised as a workman. All right, Gov, I've come to mend the chimney. Uh, not, not really convincing. He did come with. A mask which is just great look at that sculpting so the mask actually fitted onto him and he looks like uh, the hood from Thunderbirds or the master from Doc 2 dun, dun, dun. it's me um, something Action Man never came with which he did was a wig so the paint sort of come off this one but originally it was uh, sort of a, a blonde wig and you could put that on him and the, whip, the mask would go underneath and he was in disguise as a blonde fella. Sadly the hat doesn't quite suit on it. But it's like Action Man never had a wig. It's great stuff. I don't have his gun. He did come with a gun but I don't think that's the gun that came with him because uh, almost all of the accessories in Mark's figures were moulded from the one colour. Um, they didn't really bother with paint apps other than on the faces etc. He all, did come with uh, a waistcoat so he could put his waistcoat on then he had a couple of straps on the side so he could be a snazzy waistcoat wearing 
top hat person. Uh, it's got slits there, so I imagine something went in there. Um, and then one of the cleverest, uh, I've got a stethoscope, I don't know why, that's a from it. One of the cleverest one was this, his bag. Um, I've got two of them. And basically, what inside it, you've got this sort of cap mechanism. And what you did, you'd pull it back like that, you see, put a cap there, a little paper cap, and then another item went in there. I don't have that, and it was on like a stand thing. And then if anyone picked it up, imagine they pick it up, the pin comes out, cap goes off, explodes the case. It's so clever, isn't it? It's like they don't put that much thought into toys these days. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to get this. He's going to go on the shelf with pride next to my other... I think he can stand next to Stoney because they're both fighting a good fight. I wonder if the mask fits. There you go. He could be general. That's weird, and it's such a good, uh, good look. He could just have endless fun with this. Yeah, what if uh, he could wear a helmet? Um, I suppose you could mix and match the heads if you can get the bodies apart. But generally, if he he's fainted, generally if you break the spring, it's gone. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if you had any Marx figures, which ones you had. Like I said, I think they did like Vikings and knights and things. And there was a company in America that was reproducing them in the sort of late 80s, early 90s. So you could get big box sets for about 30 quid. Um, you can still pick those up. But I, they didn't have the charm of the originals because the plastic was quite sort of cheap. And it looked like modern plastic. Um, there's these ones, look at the detail. It's just wonderful stuff. So nostalgic. Um, but yeah, let us know if you had any Max figures, what you thought of them. Did you prefer them to Action Man? I know as a kid I didn't. I wanted Action Man. And then you'd see these at jumble sales and just pass them over. What an idiot. I should have picked them all up. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we do have a Patreon uh, going at the moment. So if you... Uh, want to contribute to the channel you can certainly do it that way but if not just watching is a, a huge help getting the, the viewing figures up but uh, thanks for that and I'll see you again next time thanks then bye